Yavapai Humane Society is brought to you by Prescott True Value. We're so much more than just a great hardware store. It is National Adopt a Senior Pet Month, and who better to help us out is, of course, our friends at Yavapai Humane Society. And Lori, uh, we talked about it last time. We'll talk about it again. Um, and I, I meant to mention to people out there, and this is my saying, uh, you could teach an old dog new tricks, but you can't teach a new dog old tricks. <laughs> Okay, I'll take that. But you know what? You can teach an old dog new tricks. Uh, I'm proof of that. And uh, you know, we've got we've got some awesome seniors here who, yes, while they are set in their ways, they're already grown up. They've they've got their own personalities and everything. There's still a lot that that you know they can learn from you, and that you can learn from them. Yeah, and, and so we're talking they're about the best pets, kind of. Not us. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Although sometimes I wonder about us. But, Lori, we're talking about this because, uh, you know, again, it's great to have a senior pet, as we were just talking about, uh, because, you know, the younger ones, they're, they're spunky, they're running around, and maybe, you know, you don't have all that energy, and, and these dogs are all ready to have a loving home. They are, and a lot of them do have a lot of energy, which you'll, which you'll see today. And a lot of them do just want to just hang out with you. You know, here's the thing. Senior pets are great for, you know, our senior citizens, and, and it gets them out. It gets the dogs exercise. It gets the people exercise. It brings in, you know, communication. You're talking to people more. And just having a dog or a cat around and petting it, that lowers your blood pressure. It calms you. It's a de-stressor for you and for them. So it's a win-win. Yeah, and we want to remind people again, these pets that you have usually come from someone who's passed away, so they've had them for, you know, a great time with them, or they can't be taken care of, so they are looking for that loving home. And that's why you guys step in to say, hey, listen, a senior pet is definitely going to be something that you want to have in your house. They're the best. I mean, no matter what, you've got unconditional love, whether you've got a younger dog or an older dog. But with the older dog, you already know what they look like. You already know, you know, what their personality is going to be, like we said. So it's, you know what, let's give, let's give our seniors a chance. Yeah, and I know you got two to show us uh, this week, and I see you looking over at one of them probably who's ready to go. I do. I've got Violet. Come here, girl. So let me tell you about Violet here. Um, well, this is something that Aiden and I were talking about yesterday. So we, we came up with this. You know that roses are red. Well, Violet is blue because she doesn't have you. Uh oh. Ah, uh, you know, hey, we, we're full of this stuff. She's an absolutely amazing, beautiful eight year old American Pit Bull Terrier mix. She came to us as a stray in August. She's just a sweetie. She does have a lot of energy and she can get a little crazy when she gets excited. So we do recommend and supervision around kids under eight. She loves to go for walks and you know being that she does have a lot of energy she'd be a really great dog for somebody who ha leads an active lifestyle who likes to go on walks who likes to go for hikes and you know just get out and enjoy this beautiful fall weather. Uh, she's definitely you know gonna be be with somebody who like I said is active and can can keep up with her and keep the the mental and physical stimulation that she needs. Yeah, she's ready to go. I like that. All right, who else do we have? We've got Gia. Come here, girl. Come on. There we are. So we talked, you know, recently about the, the two hardest, you know, dogs to adopt, and that's the pit bulls and the seniors. Well, you know, we've got both in Gia. Um, she's a senior and a pit bull mix. Um, and She's 10 years old. She was surrendered by her previous owners, you know, had had her their whole life, but they ran into some issues and weren't able to take care of her. Um, she's a super sweet girl, really, really friendly. She does have a lot of energy. She's not showing it right now, but she's got a whole lot of love to give. And see, this is, this is what we're saying is it's like, you've got this great dog, yes, and she's just hanging out and wants to be with you. She walks really good on a leash. Um, we've been working hard with her on that. Our behavior care team is awesome. So she's pretty relaxed and does just like to go hang out too. Yeah, and, and they're all ready to go. And, and that's what I love is that you are saying, come on up, come on over. 
and uh, spend some time with these seniors' pets and, and you'll be taking one home, right? Exactly, that's our hope. So, I like it. All right, tell them where they can find out more because I know you have other uh, senior pets along with cats uh, and other animals also that you're looking for to adopt. We do. All of our animals are up on our website, yavapaihumane.org. Uh, you can give us a call at 928-445-2666. And all month we're going to be featuring some of our senior dogs through our Facebook page and showing some pictures of them, showing pictures of them with our, some of our staff so that you can see how they are with their personality with just hanging out with people. Well, they're great. I'll tell you, Lori, I love always seeing those dogs and always hearing the success stories that you tell me about every time before we come on how these dogs are getting adopted. So thank you very much. Thank you, Brad. Have a great day.